Hello everyone and welcome back to our weekly showcase of the best mods for your favorite Skyrim. It's the fourth week of February 2023 and I have some exciting new mods to share with you all. Thank Christ for the honor of presenting you with this wonderful mods. I sincerely hope that you enjoy the upgraded Skyrim with these mods. So let's get started. The first mod I will introduce to you is MCO Universal Support. MCO Universal Support is a mod for Skyrim that remakes the SKSE plugin from the popular Modern Combat Overhaul mod to work with all versions of Skyrim, including the latest A build. The original plugin was used to add recovery frames to attack animations in the game, allowing players to exit attacks early via directional inputs on supported movesets. This remade version of the plugin allows both ADXP and MCO movesets to be fully functional above A. The mod was created in advance of future developments where directional inputs need to be exposed to behaviors properly. MCO Universal Support uses the movement vector before True Directional Movement modifies them, meaning that other mods may be able to modify them, but quick recovery is necessary in such scenarios. With this mod, players can enjoy the full functionality of the MCO mod without worrying about version compatibility issues. In summary, MCO Universal Support is a remade SKSE plugin for Skyrim that enables the full functionality of the Modern Combat Overhaul mod on all versions of the game, including the latest A build. This mod was created as a solution to the issue of version incompatibility when using the original plugin, and it allows players to enjoy the game with added recovery frames to attack animations, improving the overall gameplay experience. The second mod I will introduce to you is the Dual Wield Parrying SKSE. Dual Wield Parrying SKSE is a mod for Skyrim that allows players to parry and block with a new key, even if they are holding a second weapon or a spell or staff in their left hand. The mod is an SKSE-based rewrite of the old-school Dual Wield Parrying mod, using C++ instead of Papyrus for better responsiveness. It includes a workaround for the long-standing double attack bug, a rare and difficult to reproduce bug caused by reloading saved games while in combat or after dying. The mod can detect when the issue happens and mostly work around it by forcing the game to correctly detect that a bash is a bash, even when enchanted weapons are used. The default key for parrying and blocking in the mod is V, but it can be changed in the INI file. There is no MCM and all input detection is implemented in C++. The included ESP file has been ESL flagged. While the mod does not fix the root cause of the double attack bug, it does include a workaround that should fix most symptoms of the bug. This makes the game correctly detect that a bash is a bash, and prevents the game from dealing much more damage than it should. However, if a player is using an enchanted weapon to bash, the enchantment will still trigger, which it wouldn't do for a normal bash. Overall, Dual Wield Parrying SKSE is a useful mod for players who want to be able to parry and block even when holding two weapons or a spell or staff in their left hand, and who want to avoid the double attack bug that can affect other dual wielding mods. The C++ implementation makes it more responsive, and the workaround for the bug should ensure that players can play without worrying about issues caused by reloading saved games in combat or after dying. The third mode to introduce is Locational Encounter Zones. Locational Encounter Zones is a mod for Skyrim that aims to make the game's difficulty more consistent by adjusting the levels of enemies guarding a location to match those found inside. This SKSE plugin is especially helpful for players who have encountered areas that seem too easy at first but become impossibly difficult after entering a location. Skyrim uses encounter zones to determine how to scale enemies in interiors and small world spaces. These zones set minimum and maximum level caps for enemies as well as their loot. If an enemy does not have an encounter zone, they will scale to the level of the player. Therefore, this mod comes in handy, as it automatically patches all actors that lack an encounter zone with the one tied to their location. The mod will make some areas tougher to get through, but ultimately you will end up fighting the same level enemies when you enter the interior of a location, making the game's difficulty more consistent. The loot is not modified, so if players want to find good loot, they will need to fight for it. 
This mod is compatible with all other mods, and it requires no patches to function, apart from encounter zones to have a location assigned, which is why something like Arena is recommended. The fourth mode to introduce is Save Unbaker. This mod allows players to unbake certain records that are normally saved in the game's save files, making them always load from the game's plugins instead. This can help with installing certain mods mid-save and can make the game more stable overall. The records that save Unbaker effects include NPC weight and the opposite gender animation flag. These records are normally saved in the game's save files, but save Unbaker makes them always load from the game's plugins instead. This can help ensure that these records are always consistent, even if you install a new mod that changes them. These records can be toggled separately in the po3 underscore save unbaker.ini file. This allows players to customize which records are affected by the mod and which ones are not. One of the main benefits of using Save Unbaker is that it can help prevent issues that can occur when installing mods mid-save. Normally, when you install a new mod that changes certain records, those changes will be saved in your game's save files. This can cause conflicts with other mods or with the base game, leading to crashes or other issues. By unbacking certain records, Save Unbaker ensures that these changes always come from the game's plugins instead of your save files, which can help prevent these types of conflicts. Overall, Save Unbaker is a useful mod for players who want to ensure that their game is as stable as possible. By unbacking certain records and always loading them from the game's plugins, this mod can help prevent conflicts and issues that can arise when installing new mods mid-save. If you're a Skyrim player who likes to use mods, then Save Unbaker is definitely worth considering. The fifth mod to introduce is JS Knapsacks. The JS Knapsacks mod is a complete remake of the vanilla knapsack in Skyrim, offering several new variants and improved visuals. This mod is available in three different resolutions, 1K, 2K, and 4K giving players a variety of options to choose from depending on their hardware capabilities. The most significant change in the mod is the new mesh and textures. The textures are of higher quality than those found in the vanilla game, resulting in more realistic and detailed knapsacks. The mesh has also been updated to improve the shape and proportions of the knapsacks. It's all over, lawbreaker! Ensuring that they look great from every angle. In addition to the improved visuals, the JS Knapsacks mod offers players five new variants of the knapsack, each with unique designs and colors. This variety ensures that players can find a knapsack that suits their preferences and style of play. The sixth mod to introduce is Steel Armors and Weapons Retexture. The Steel Armors and Weapons Retexture mod is a texture mod for Skyrim that retextures the steel armor, shield, and weapons, as well as some additional content from various mods. The mod is available in three different resolutions, 1K, 2K, and 4K, allowing for customization based on the player's hardware capabilities. The mod includes five different variants of the steel armor, each with its own unique texture design. The Steel Plate Armor, Creation Club Steel Soldier, Creation Club Fists of Randall Gulf, Creation Club Steel Staff, and Creation Club Brawler's Steel Fists are also retextured by this mod. The mod offers optional retextures for Amidianborn's content add-on, Legacy of the Dragonborn's Harabane's Fortress and Museum Guard Armor, Oblivion Artifacts Rashida's Special, and Helgen Reborn's Keepers of Hatu Armors. The mod is customizable through a FOMOD installer that allows the player to pick and choose which textures they want to install. The Steel Armors and Weapons Retexture mod is a great addition to any Skyrim playthrough, providing high-quality textures for various steel armor and weapon sets, and additional mod content. The seventh mod to introduce is Alchemy Recipe Expansion. Alchemy Recipe Expansion is a mod for Skyrim, that expands the available alchemy recipes in the base game. The mod is designed to thoughtfully integrate unused alchemy effects and the DLC and Anniversary Edition content. With this mod, players can access over 50 new recipes that are not present in the base game. The ingredients chosen for the mod are from Dawnguard, Hearthfire, Dragonborn, and the Anniversary Edition update. 
The mod intelligently and thoughtfully expands the pool of available recipes found in the base game by utilizing unused ingredient combinations. The new recipes typically contain two ingredients of similar qualities, for example, Morrowind items are paired with Morrowind items. The recipes were chosen and valued with balance in mind, designed to play nicely with the mod Apothecary. The mod is currently soft compatible with most alchemy overhauls. It also works great with and perfectly complements Recipe Auto Learn, which players can check out. If players have Base Object Swapper installed, some of the hand placed recipes in the overworld are replaced with some of the recipes found in this mod. For example, Avrusa Sarathi on Sarathi Farm keeps a paralysis recipe in her home. Her. This will be swapped with the new Resist Magic Potion recipe, which is only found in this mod and is an effect found in Nernroot. Additionally, Honeyside has had its recipes gifted from upgrading the home swapped out with a trio of recipes found in this mod. In conclusion, Alchemy Recipe Expansion is a great mod for Skyrim players who want to expand their alchemy knowledge and access new recipes. With over 50 new recipes to discover, players can experiment and find new combinations to create powerful potions. The mod is thoughtfully designed and is compatible with most alchemy overhauls, making it a great addition to any mod list. And that's it for this week's episode of the best mods. I hope you found something new and interesting to add to your Skyrim. Be sure to check back next week for even more amazing mods. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more content like this. Thanks for watching and happy gaming.